Hey guys, welcome back to Messy Mama Monday. Um, I know last week I didn't get a video out. We all had stomach bugs, so no video was going to get made last week. Um, <clears throat> but this week, I'm talking about a no-no subject. Yes, I'm talking about sex. Come on, spin. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and Talking about sex in this video. Um... If you grew up like me, I'm 30, so I grew up in the early 90s, or late 90s, early 2000s church. <clears throat> so if you grew up in church like I did, we were drilled into us from church and family that sex was bad. You don't do sex unless you're married. Don't even talk about sex. Don't even think about sex. Like It's very, very bad. And they drilled that into us when we were children and teenagers. And I know they had good reason for it. They didn't want us to, um, mainly they didn't want us to get pregnant as teenagers, which I completely understand, but they did not think about the repercussions of the way they were teaching us this. Yes, God says in the Bible that sex is to be sacred for husband and wife. That married couple, this was designed specifically for married couples. And I 100% agree with that. But I don't agree with the way the churches and families used to drill it into their children that it was not okay. Because in my experience, <clears throat> the way that it was drilled into us, when I did, well, pre obviously I had sex before marriage because them drilling it into me so hard just made me want to have sex even more, right? That's just, I don't know, it's, it's something about a teenager where you get rebellious. You're like, oh, they don't want me to do this, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's what happened. And me, for me, when I got married, I didn't enjoy it for the longest time. Because the way that it is drilled into your mind, that it's bad. Everything is bad. Nothing is good about it. Until you're married. Then when you get married, you're like, wait, what do I do? You're kind of conflicted on how you feel. And me and my husband have been married for almost 11 years. Be 11 years in February. And for the last three years is the only time I've truly... 100% enjoyed sex all the time. That's crazy. We've been married almost 11 years and only three of those years have I felt okay with <clears throat> and actually enjoy having sex. The previous eight years, I always felt convicted or dirty, like just from the mindset of how much it was drilled into you of it's bad. Like I felt dirty if I had sex, even with my husband. Sometimes, yes, I did enjoy it. And we had four kids throughout that time. In that eight years, we had four kids. So obviously we had sex and I enjoyed it a few times, but not every time until the last few years. And also, I, in my mind, it was like, you can only have sex one way, missionary. You can only have sex with the light off. I would never turn the light on. You can't enjoy yourself you are only there to please your husband and not and you're not supposed to be pleased like all these things that were just kind of like um it's hard to explain but as a woman I don't know if this works for men so if you're a man and you grew up the same way I did please in the comments let me know if that worked out the same for you were you like fearful of having sex or like just doing your duty and not enjoying it, please let me know because I don't know from a man's perspective, but I do know from my perspective of a woman that it was just, it was hard. And me and my husband, we got pregnant while we were engaged. My oldest is 10 and we got pregnant with her while we were engaged. So obviously I had premarital sex. Do I think I'm going to hell for that? No, I don't. But that's how the church made it seem. And so it's kind of like this huge like burden you carry on yourself. 
the entire time like, oh my gosh, I had sex before marriage. I'm going to hell. Oh my gosh, I had, I did this before marriage. Oh my gosh, I enjoyed sex. I'm going to hell. Like, it's, it's not a good way to live. So for my, not my entire married life, but a lot of it, I would actually pray before, during the day when I'm doing my Bible study, or even during, because you know I wasn't supposed to enjoy it. So during it, I was praying in my mind that, Lord, please let me enjoy this. Like, I want to have a good sex life with my husband. I don't want to be <laughs> just this boring person that just lays there and just says, okay, I fulfilled your need. <laughs> like, that's not a way to live. I should enjoy it too. And um, my husband didn't grow up the way I did, so he never had the issue with sex or pleasure or any of that. Um, and it wasn't till like three years ago, I told you I finally started enjoying it, but four years ago when I was pregnant with our last son is when I met Dave and Ashley Willis and they are part of the XO marriage and they have a YouTube channel, Dave and Ashley, and they have, they are on the XO YouTube channel. They have a Instagram, Dave, at Dave and Ashley Willis, but they came to our church and they did like a mini XO marriage thing there. And it was just them. I love them. They're, I call them the experts on marriage and sex. And, um, they even have, they have a podcast too. Um, and so they came with this book. It's called The Naked Marriage by Dave and Ashley Willis. So that's who I was talking about. Dave and Ashley Willis. Look them up. You'll find all the things. They have tons of resources. And um, so I read this book in literally like two days. <laughs> and I was pregnant. And um, they just go in deep about how um, intimacy with your spouse affects all aspects of your life and um, my husband's even told me before that like it says the naked marriage it talks about naked being naked in all aspects of your life and some of those are physically without clothing right so my husband had told me that a while back I don't remember when that he can be more intimate in his emotions with me if we have no clothes on, if we are physically naked, that doesn't mean like we're having sex. It means like if we're just laying in bed naked together, he can be more intimate with me. And because we're already in our like intimate forms at that point, we are already laying everything out there. We have nothing on, we're not hiding. So that gives him or you the opening to be more intimate the feelings that you're having or like the emotions and or things you're struggling with to open up it gives you that that door to kind of like just open up and lay it all out there but the other day i was watching another dave and ashley video it was actually it wasn't a video yeah it was on youtube it was a youtube video from dave and ashley with exo and they do um sex videos not not like that kind of stuff. They do videos on sex topics. Like they had one about men and then they had one about women. Like um, more or less like the best ways to pleasure each other. Like women take foreplay. Men don't necessarily need the foreplay, but they'll take it. You know, like they're not going to complain if you want to do foreplay with them. But women kind of like need that you have to like work women up more than you do a man so that's kind of like what they go into in those videos you should definitely go watch them they're perfect it's nothing nothing bad it's all christian based um and they did one the other day about they had i think they had someone ask a question and they do this regularly on wednesdays where they ask questions and then they try to answer that question a lot of them are sex questions which is fantastic you should not be afraid to talk about sex like it's a normal thing. Everyone does it. Um, and the, it really like confirmed a conviction I had in the video was about oral sex and growing up, you know, everything's bad. So 
I never wanted to do that either because I felt gross. I was like, um, no, this isn't for me. For sure going to hell if I do oral sex or receive it, right? Yeah, no, that's not the case. Um, they've been actually debunked that for me. <laughs> and it's actually, um, I'm not going to go to hell for that. Just if you're wondering, you won't go to hell for that, for having oral sex with your husband. Um, it's also another great way of foreplay. So, hello, and do it, enjoy it. Um, but I just, if you need like other resources on sex and what's, what the Bible says is okay and what the Bible says is not okay, Dave and Ashley Willis are fantastic at that and you should definitely look them up. No, I'm not paid to sponsor them or anything. I just really love them and I love their videos and their resources. They're fantastic. But if you grew up like me where it was like this horrible thing and you shouldn't enjoy it and you're going to hell, please know that that is not the case. And you can completely and thoroughly enjoy your sex life with your spouse. You, I encourage you to do what I did. I had to pray about it for a long time. And sometimes I still pray about it. I'm like, hey. Like, look, I tell my husband, like, I prayed for my sex life to make, make it where I will enjoy it 100% with you. Because it should be a very enjoyable experience for both of us. So, pray about it. Ask God to let you enjoy sex with your husband. Ask him to let your husband enjoy sex with you. To open your mind and your body for your husband. Husbands, you can do the same. You can pray for your sex life so that you enjoy it. Because I know sometimes men don't enjoy it and maybe they feel dirty. I don't know. Like, if you're a guy and that's how you grew up and that's how you felt, please let us know in the comments. Um, I would definitely like to know if that's the same for you or if men are just complete horn dogs. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, three out of our 11 years of marriage are finally where I can enjoy it all the time. And I don't want that to happen to someone else. Like, that's not a way to go throughout your marriage not enjoying sex because God designed it for you to enjoy it, for you to be fulfilled, and for your husband to be fulfilled too. It's not how churches and family tried to drill it into us long ago. It's you're not going to go to hell for enjoying sex with your husband. You're not going to go. You're not going to disobey God for enjoying it because God wants you to enjoy it. God wants us to enjoy sex with our husbands and our wives. He wants us to fulfill each other. And um, he wants you to have a good marriage life. And sex is part of that. If you don't have a good sex life, then other aspects of your marriage will also start to crumble like a cookie it's I know it sounds crazy but it will because all these things build up if you're good with being intimate physically you can be good intimate mentally you can be good intimate emotionally and all those things just go together so if you also group like me and you had this hard time enjoying sex I pray that you start praying and you can start enjoying it too. There's not one way to sex. There's not a right way or a wrong way. There's not, if you do this, you're going to hell. It's, no. You're allowed to enjoy sex with your husband. You're allowed to enjoy sex with your wife. You're allowed to be fulfilled in that act of sex, both of you. And you're... You don't have to feel guilty about it. So I encourage you to work on that. And it's going to take time. Work on that. Pray about it. Tell you, Talk with your spouse about it. Tell them, hey, I really don't enjoy it because these things. Let's see if we can find a way where I can. Let's see if we can come to a point where I can enjoy myself and you can enjoy yourself. It can be different positions. It can be different it can be oral sex first. It can be no oral sex. If you don't feel comfortable with it, then you don't have to do it. It's all about your comfort. And you have to express that comfort with your husband. 
but then I also think you should be willing to try new things. So if you haven't ever done anything else but missionary, try a new position. It's not going to hurt you. It'll be fine if you don't like it. Tell them, hey, hey, no, I don't like that one. Move on. Try a different way. It's all trial, trial and error, but you're made to feel fulfilled with your spouse. So uh, thank you for coming today. And... Uh, Felt so dirty talking about sex.